Hi, I'm Dave Robinson, and in this screencast, I'm going to show how to use the accumulate function from Purr to create Pascal's triangle. The accumulate function is a really exciting function when you're doing statistical simulation or a lot of types of uh, data manipulation. And, um, but I think it's a, it's a bit more obscure than some of Purr's other functions. So I wanted to show an example of its usage. Uh, so we're going to be doing um, the accumulate function in this uh, screencast. So the accumulate function, how does it work? Let's do library per. And uh, if we did question mark accumulate, we see this accumulate intermediate results of a vector reduction. What on earth does that mean? There's actually a lot of description here. It's all important. You can definitely read through it. Check out the accumulate to function sometime. Uh, we're not going to be using, uh, we're not going to be going that far today. We're going to be using uh, accumulate in, in a um, uh, relatively uh, simple way. I'm going to show what um, accumulate does. What it does is it keeps applying the same function again and again and again. So it's really good when you want to do something repeatedly. Uh, for um, for example, let me see. Uh, yes, so we'll, we'll show, I'll show one example. This I think comes with the, the documentation. What accumulate does, if I take, let's say, the letters, uh, this is built into R, you can actually get a vector of all the letters, and I do accumulate, Uh, on these letters, the function paste. What will that do? What it'll do is it'll put in your first value, then it'll get, it'll give it your the result plus and then the next value, then the result and then the next value. So it's like you first you had a, then you have a b, and then it takes a b and it puts it combines that with this one c. Then it combine, takes the ABC, that result, and it combines it with the next new value, D. And it keeps adding them together. So accumulate uh, creates this um, uh, creates this sequence of, of um, uh, by applying this function over and over, this paste function over and over to each of these uh, elements in letters. But I'm actually going to show that accumulate, you can sometimes ignore uh, the value that actually goes in letters. I'm going to show uh, that, that the first value that can just be something that you're um, that's that's allowing you to count along. I'm going to show something here. If I say accumulate one to ten, uh, and then I'm also I'm going to say what function do I apply? If you've used Paralog, you might have seen the, the tilde for creating an anonymous function. What if I say I want to do two times uh, um, the, the dot, that is tilde two times dot, that's the equivalent of function dot two times dot. So this and this, uh, there's like a little shortcut. Um, and then I say dot init start with the number um, one. What this will do is it actually, this function only takes one argument. This one to 10, it just gets ignored. It's just like, it just says it'll happen 10 times. It'll keep applying this times two step. Uh, so it's like, oh, one, then two, then four, then eight, then 16, then 32, then 64. So it's actually powers of two. I could have put any function here that keeps getting, it takes the result and then feeds it back into this function and keeps every intermediate value. I could have done to the power of two. Uh, that won't work if the initial value is 1, but what if I say the initial value is 2, it'll go 2 squared is 4, 4 squared is 16. It gets big real fast. goes basically to infinity. Uh, if I did 1 to 5, it's going to look a little more reasonable. See how big that number goes when we do uh, each time you're squaring it. You square it, you square it, you square it. So it's really good for these sequences where you keep doing something, where you keep... Um, we apply the same step over and over. And a lot of rather complicated things can work this way. I'm going to show one really fun example, and that's Pascal's triangle. If you're not familiar with Pascal's triangle, it, um, Pascal's triangle, save this file. Uh, it looks like this. It's a triangle where you get each value by adding the two numbers above it. So for example, here, there's only the one above here, so you got one, one. And just look at that. I, I love this animation. I'm going to zoom in on it. Um, 
see the ones turn into a two, one and two turn into three, two and one turn into three, four will go here, six will go here, four will go here. Um, this has some really good properties. For example, if you read down here, you get the natural numbers one, two, three, four. But if you read down here, down this way, one, three, six, you actually get what do you get? You get something really cool. I forget what it it is. I think it's like the um the binomial coefficients or something. Um, one, three. So you had two. You had three. You had four. You had five. You had six. Oh yeah. So this actually um, uh, what's really handy? What's handy here is that as you're moving your way down, you're getting the um uh, you're getting the, the what are called um. Uh, binomial coefficients. Those are really important when you're working with like um, sampling. Like, what is the probability that the um, uh, that if you select two things out of five, you get a particular two things that the um, they end up being really really uh, useful. But I'm not gonna go into there's like what they call the binomial theorem. I'm not gonna go into to what the use of Pascal's triangle are. I just want to create it. Uh, I heard this puzzle from someone recently. How would you create Pascal's triangle in R? and I thought of using the accumulate function. I'm gonna show how. The way that, 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 that I think I need to do is find a recursive relationship. How do I turn this one into one one? How do I turn one three three one into one four six four one? The way that I do it is I notice there's a zero here and a zero here. And that if I add the, um, if I take this sequence and I, and I then add all these and all these. What do you mean by zero? I mean that, that nothing is getting added besides this one. Then I can actually get, um, then I can add those two together, these five numbers and these five numbers and get these five numbers. So for example, I'm gonna show this really quickly. If the four, if one row were one, three, three, one, how would I get the next row? Let's ask that question of ourselves. Uh, I Well, I would say, um, I need to take, uh, the first one's gonna be a zero plus a one, then a one plus a three, then a three plus a three, then a three plus a one. Oh, okay. Uh, what I'm gonna do is combine a zero and the row and add that to row combined with zero. Cause look, a zero and a row was zero, one, three, three, one. This was one, 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 three, three, one, zero. Add these two together, look at that, you get the next step of Pascal's triangle 14641. This is the most interesting step here, uh, is that we know we need to say, oh, the relationship between each row and the next one is this pairwise addition of zero and combined with the row and row combined with zero. Now, how can I turn that into accumulate? Well, I say, um, we're gonna make that a function, tilde this, and then say accumulate from, uh, let's say one to six, dot in it equals one. What this does is create, check that out, Pascal's triangle. Uh, the first value was one. It combined, the, applied this function once to get one, one. Applied to the result of that, it's like repeatedly applying this, this little function and doing it again and again. Uh, so this ends up getting us, uh, this ends up getting us Pascal's triangle in one line of code. That's how powerful the accumulate function is. All right, that was this uh, little mini screencast. Uh, I hope that I've gotten you excited about the accumulate function. Uh, maybe I'll find other opportunities to share uh, share examples of it in the future. Um, definitely check it out. Check out um, accumulate, accumulate 2 from the per package within the tidyverse. All right, uh, I hope you had fun, I certainly did. See you next time.